All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for My, My Hero, Hero Academia, Academia, Season 4, four Episode 21. 21. All right. Culture Festival we is got ourselves. about to happen, I yeah. believe. I mean, we've done tons of prep for it, mm -hmm. so that can only mean that it is here. At a oh, celebration gosh. of yes. said culture. Mm -hmm. And as we are cultured individuals Definitely. and have the most... Uh, the utmost appreciation for culture itself. Yes. We, we cannot, cannot wait for not only a display, a performance of said culture, but also potentially even the disruption of said oh, culture definitely. and all the uh, <laughs> shenanigans that that entails. Yes, yes, uh, for sure. They are definitely set up for that to happen with Deku being, you know, higher up. Like if that doesn't end up being something where he gets mm -hmm. some bird's eye view perspective of what's going on, mm -hmm. I would be quite surprised. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Also, we might end up having a fighting gentle, perhaps even a gentle experience, you yes. know? Yes, yes. That, that would be quite, quite, although, uh, quite something. Although I'm pretty sure uh, Labrava would first, of course, ask him to be gentle. Yes, yes, um, yes, but, absolutely. Uh, and then uh, we also may get a, a bit of a singing bit with Jiro, which would be mm. absolutely wonderful, mm. given that they already uh, teased some of her talents earlier, and that was quite so. Quite, again, the experience. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. And all this happening around the context of the students, the classes, all kind of coming together around this as a school and what that means to be kind of unified as a school. So hopefully yeah. we'll see some cool standouts potentially from class 1B, mm -hmm. uh, potentially even some, uh, you know, of the characters that are in other courses of like, UA. You know? <coughs> Shinzo. Shinzo. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know who he is, but, you yeah. know, he might... Yeah, I mean, that, that would be cool. Apparently, that that still shot of him was not anime original. That's it was true. in the manga, so that's we can keep our fingers crossed. So. Yes, yeah. indeed. But y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone. Now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, and then come back here for the discussion. All right, I just gotta say, I love Gentle's character. Gentle's His character wonderful. is so, so perfectly ridiculous. Oh, like, yeah. for those of you that have seen Bacano, Isaac and Miria are yeah. what are known as, in my opinion, the quintessential anime couple. And they're perfectly comic stupid. Relief characters, like. Well, like, yes. Mm. Yes. They're the perfect levels of stupid, yep. hilarious, endearing, wholesome, mm -hmm. inspiring, and then also kind plot of relevant. just like plot, like relevant, exactly. Yeah, like they and actually gentle, do stuff. Right, and Gentle has that. He has his dreams, his ambition to be known as a legend. Yes. Those be they hero, villain, uh, vigilante, um, written into the annals of history. Or or YouTube. <laughs> or YouTube, or the yeah. Yaptubes, exactly. Yeah. Now, he is a criminal. Mm -hmm. He is also a gentleman in right. that he does not wish to hurt Deku, of course, by any means. Yeah. So he gently rebounds. He gently trampolines. Oh yeah, the, the, <laughs> it fits so perfectly with his quirk. Yep, yep. His quirk is fantastic for his name and everything and mm -hmm. his personality. It's absolutely wonderful. And and now that I think about it, actually, it's incredibly frustrating for someone like Deku. Oh my because, god! Yes. Because in that environment, normally Deku would do the exact same thing Gentle was. Yeah. Except now he couldn't really. Right. Like, even if he didn't have the whole steel beam that he had to catch and all that stuff. Right. Okay, you try and jump around, but they're bouncy, and you're not used to that. <laughs> he is, so he knows how to, you know, do it, and he right. can make it bounce in just the right way and all that mm -hmm. stuff, right? But you're not used to that. Nope. So the fact that you are a bouncy person doesn't help when the services that you would be bouncy off of are bouncy, bouncy themselves. <laughs> it just... It just goes chaotic and, and it, there you go. It, it feels like he's an aspect of Gambit's power from X-Men instead of applying basically potential like, you know, inertia or what sure. have you, energy into objects mm -hmm. and what have you. It's a form of that, but it's just specifically elasticity. So it, yeah. it's changing it some ways, but it's it's probably more like someone else's superpower in, well, in it, fiction. Or I mean, it was making but... me think of Ahsoka a bunch, you know, of like, ah, yes, you know, bungee gum, you know. Did um, you say Hisoka? Ahsoka. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you said Ahsoka. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, right. The, the dual. It has the papers. properties of both bungee of both rubber and gum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and yes, and in just general, yeah. the the performer and sort of like aspect of it, where it's not sure. really fighting for the sake of fighting; it's fighting for the sake of putting right. on a show. Right. right. Um, Do not stop filming for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tell me you got that. Right. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, I also love that she 
genuinely is worried about him yeah because he's fighting someone that she doesn't know the core cover or anything and they got separated for a brief amount of time sure so she's not filming him which means like holy crap i don't right. know what's going on like yep, yep. most of the time they're and, probably inseparable like always right. together well and and they they know of deku it's not like some random you know person right it's like right, oh, this guy's crazy this is yeah the, we've we've seen you know this this kid right no. mm -mm. and do you get the vibe that this is thematically something where they're trying to set up how scary it is mm -hmm. when you have someone that has a quirk and the quirk is so powerful and their i their belief in them and them being uh -huh. right is so powerful yep. that you can't actually stop them like just that notion is scary like uh, i was right. just i was just thinking about do you see anything deeper in this this exchange where it's this thing of ah oh, i am not going to do anything mm -hmm. really that horrible i'm going to trespass that's the worst crime right, i'm right. going to make there yeah yeah oh no i jaywalked you know right oh yeah, no you know <laughs> right like, because deku deku is very driven about his whole being a hero deal mm -hmm. yeah and then and here he we have to someone... help airy have a you know good yes time. exactly so he has a great reason for everything that he's doing yes and yet from gentle's perspective mm -hmm. the things that gentle is trying to do it's not that big a deal right he's like and and there there would be the aspect of if Def deku didn't believe him you right know? of course Sure, yeah. but it's more of just that. No, no, no. Too much is on the line. Be Way too much specific is on the line. Situation, yeah. so I can't let you. Right, right. And it is a, still a crime. It, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's still a crime. Still a crime. <laughs> but in a normal situation, you would hope, you know, or at least Gentle would hope that he'd be able to be like, no, no, no. Hmm. I'm not actually going to do anything. Right, right, I'm not right, gonna, right. Not going to hurt any. It's a win -win. I'm not going to do anything like yeah. that. I'm just going to go in there and film it. Right? right, like that. That is all I'm going to do. I'm just trying to make a living. I'm trying to make a video. You know, and and yes, we are. You know bypassing the security system and doing things like that <laughs> but but it's just so that we can do this thing right you know we're we're not gonna steal or you know or kill right. or you know or anything like that right are we such a menace to society basically <laughs> that right you need to potentially mm -hmm. ruin our lives forever right by treating things this seriously mm -hmm. this is something that i think was the problem with hero society at the beginning was all these people had these quirks suddenly that mm -hmm. started coming about. The laws didn't reflect a world in which quirks right. could coexist with them peacefully. So then you end up having all yeah. this crazy conflict and then all for one comes about and makes right. it all crazy. It's very similar to the whole situation with technology nowadays where yes. the laws can't really keep up with how fast technology is exactly. progressing. Yeah, so I, I feel like there is a couple things deeper going on here. The technology one makes a lot of sense. I feel like there's also one here with the idea that Deku is kind of the one that's scary in this situation here. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's the one that feels mm -hmm. almost a little bit terrifying, where his quirk is so powerful that mm -hmm. if Gentle actually got hit by it, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, he's not old. Like, well, he's, and he's trying to look kind of old, but like, uh huh. But and, he, he <laughs> and, and this is an anime, so the rules of inertia rarely apply, right? Yes, absolutely. Because otherwise, Gentle would already be dead. The fact that they went, crashed into that area, and it right. wasn't a bunch of boing boing. Like, know. we don't know what was boing boinged or anything, but. Right, but some, there, there were things that weren't because there was a crash and all that stuff. Uh, right. So, right. you know, going that fast, yeah, um, he would be injured at best, right? Right. You know. And, and Deku has now the authority to make these kinds of calls. Right. Because he is a licensed yep. hero now. Mm -hmm. So he has the ability to make these calls. He is pretending to have done the uh, call it in thing, <laughs> which is probably a smart thing to do just to see if that de-escalates yeah. things. Right. But given and the he, fact... he can still call them, you know, once... Right, once yeah. he loses... Um, once there's a bit of time where he can't, like, keep up with them or whatever. Exactly. So <laughs> we are in a, in a hilarious situation oh, yeah. where we have the... T being the thing that brought the two of them together. And I loved the internal mm. monologue kind of stuff going on between the two of them and that being the, oh, uh -huh. oh, oh no, he's from UA, he's yeah. gentle criminal. Well, and, and then and, the little <laughs> lightning bolts of realization. Yep. Yeah. Well, and Labrava being like, her realizing that gentle basically flubbed everything by <sighs> by being like, you you like this tea too? What? Oh, how did you find out about it? And she's like, I understand that this is your ritual. Like, like, <laughs> yes. like <laughs> like okay like like she wasn't upset about it even though she was like yep this is uh we're screwed like like this yeah. is this is a problem right? we've been had <laughs> yeah 
I love also the, oh, yes, come along, honey. It, I mentioned it in the video, but for those of you that didn't get it, I was trying to draw a connection to Bacano because there's a part where uh, Isaac and Miria mm -hmm. are going yeah, to yeah. buy costumes, hats specifically for their, yep. uh, their, their thieving escapades mm -hmm. and what have you, and they bump into some really important main characters. Like and they, mafia. Mafia, and, they're, and they tell them off without with like out any hesitation with total confidence like oh there's no excuse for carelessness yeah, yeah. Like, no excuse for carelessness and, and then the two the two people that are like you know mafia high level like, mafia people are just sort of like what what huh. <laughs> and then they okay. keep going and they just day. keep going <laughs> and they pass each other like it's nothing yep. and this it's like nope deku has uh -huh. the observant feet Wait, so know. so he's yeah, like yeah. like my passive perception yeah. is tingling what's uh -huh. going on here right I, I i i sense a connection to something oh, in my memory oh. what's going on here <gasps> yep. you're a gentle criminal i love how frustrating it was for deku to be facing them like <laughs> and and the fact that he's facing them with essentially like one of those really powerful air cannons where you just boom, you right know? right um all of his I, work I is that. efficient and strong. Well, yeah, well so, yes. It's, so, yeah. Yes, it's efficient and strong, but also just the idea that, okay, <laughs> Gentle is fighting him with squishy air and, you know, steel beams and things like that, right? Right. <laughs> Deku is fighting him by going... Yeah, yeah, like that's true. Like, that's, tr that's true. Like, <laughs> like, Gentle's pulling out all his stops and Deku's like, meh. Like, you know, well, yeah, the fact that Deku is... is like, like, like he's getting some range with it and stuff. So there's definitely, definitely, it's a use control for it and factor. Everything. Yeah, and but and, he's like, severely using like and, the tiniest percentage well, of his power. Well, and and Maze Maze Gear, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. I, I love the idea yep. of it. That's that's very effective, right? It right. makes sense that that would be something you'd be able to use. But as far as the idea of again, the previous arc, we were fighting with. I touch you, you get disassembled molecularly, and all this stuff. Right. To boing boing i go boing boing and i go you know yeah. like like it's it's levity it's 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 oh, literally what it is literally literally li yeah. i know uh -huh. i know i know yeah. <laughs> yes mm -hmm. the the aspect though of us being in this mini arc of sorts where we have ourselves like this intense like minute by minute mm -hmm. also uh description of events and what have yep. you and trying to keep things all in tandem here with like mm -hmm. internal thought processes and stuff. And then we have like timing things as you're falling. It yeah. feels almost in some ways like they took like little aspects of the Chimera and oh, yeah. palace no, invasion. Know. And they're yeah. like, ah, yeah. oh, we're treating this as if it's as yeah. serious as the palace invasion. Right. <laughs> and, and it's funny because- <laughs> And then Gentle Cripple's like, just keep filming. Yeah, this yeah. will be a legendary moment for my career. There were, there were two very opposite feelings that I had about that. Right. On the one hand, I was like, all right, that's hilarious. Right. That they're doing something that like, oh, super serious or something oh, yes. so goofy, right? Mm -hmm. And yes, Deku has the stakes for it and everything. Why this needs to happen and this needs to right. go well, right? Mm -hmm. But still, it's ridiculous, right? Yes. And at the same time, I was like, hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about this in some ways because, well, it feels like it's spending too much time on something that's silly when it could like keep things moving and get to like the next thing that's silly you know sure, in the sure. fight um so but and, and it was very weird having those two in tandem because that's part of the joke and yet hmm like are they doing a bit too much like recap of showing the stakes because it's like we don't need to have necessarily that many stakes like we don't need to show all the different characters and how they're working really hard in right. the middle of the fight you right. know like just one or two would be enough yeah um, in some ways i feel like this one was a little bit slower paced than some of the previous ones even mm -hmm. within the culture festival even though i would say less things happen but i'd say that's the nature of having a fight in a shonen is that the pace in general is going to slow down because then sure. seconds matter versus minutes and hours you know little decisions and stuff like that but yeah what i do think though that they're bringing up is basically that this fight is not actually a fight it's more of a D, &D style chase right where you have the encounter yeah. constantly outmaneuvering the protagonist or protagonists or what have mm -hmm. you they're going to end up getting into the culture festival right it's going to be a hectic thing of eh, get this freaking yeah. like and you know uh <laughs> and right yes and, um you know uh team rocket like kind oh, yeah. of like yeah. group and don't let them ruin everything right. 
because they're probably going to come so close to doing yep. it. And 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 I guess it's some if I were if I were to give one thing that I mm-hmm. that I wish was done to a to more heightened extent right. is to have it have a manic pacing because it's silly so that that way right. like yeah, we don't need to dwell on how serious it is. We know it's both serious and not serious at the mm-hmm. same time. So just like keep it going and right. then have the mm-hmm. have it feel chaotic. You for know? sure. I agree with you. I feel like the manic pacing though is being saved for the next episode because Probably. they're going yeah. to actually be in UA like oh, very yeah. quickly. Once once they get inside UA, it's going to be a lot crazier because mm-hmm. it's like it could be things of like, oh, there's the 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 hero with the, the smelling or whatever. Right. And he's like coming around the corner uh-huh. and then it's like we gotta like, you know, boing away. Yeah, yeah, yeah boing yeah. away and chase after them and all that crazy crazy stuff and Deku needs to like also help gentle criminal hide unintentionally exactly because, yeah yeah so that's what I'm thinking it's it's going to end up being is that they're going to save the manic pacing stuff for when it gets silly mm-hmm. in the chase but the reason why it's not being full manic pacing now is because they're actually establishing some of the serious stuff now right and one of the things I think that's going to be serious is that when this ends they're going to be like right before the concert starts and Deku is going to be exasperated and mm-hmm. frustrated sure. because he probably won't beat Gentle. He probably right. won't actually mm-hmm. be able to fully stop him. He'll just be like, you don't understand. And mm-hmm. he will like tell him yeah. why this is happening. And then Gentle will get this all on film. Mm-hmm. And he'll be like, bravo. Yeah. That was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, this is the excellent footage. La yeah. brava. Did you get all that? And she's like, every bit gentle. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, I cannot help right. but be moved by the heart and, of this and passionate because, young Yes, I am gentle, but because first, I'm criminal. Second, right. you know. I might move. be a criminal, but first, I am a gentleman. Exactly. Right, right exactly. And exactly. then they leave, you know. And, so and then the, they leave. The thing so the can, can get to the concert. Yep, and exactly. it's going to be this thing of where it's counting down to the right. concert. The show must more go intense. on and all that. And then mm-hmm. Deku's going to get there just in the nick of time. Yep. We're going to get rewarded with the concert. Mm-hmm. And it'll be this big, like, bombastic thing sure. that we get to have because Deku right. won over Gentle via his heart. Yeah, not, not necessarily not via his, his muscles. Quirk. His yeah, ex- quirk. Yes, exactly. exactly. Right. And that's, and that's something that's very important because in this right. fight here, Deku was trying to use his quirk to win as opposed to what gentle was trying to do of win with words he's right. like hey look we, we're not trying to cause trouble yeah you know he's like like don't worry oh like yeah win win we can yeah. do this yep yep uh-huh. but, but but i think because they use this to showcase how his quirk is actually really effective against deku it oh, yeah. will be something that translates over into the next episode mm-hmm. in some kind of similar situation right yeah yeah um but yeah, yeah, the uh, the costumes were hilarious the costumes that they had. Great. Um, the the glasses and the extra wig, oh, the yeah. hats, all all of it. That was wonderful. <laughs> I I gotta um, say, I love um, La Brava being like, "Hey, I'm sorry, we're filming something. We'll be yes, done in a second. That was you know, genius. Like, like that's oh man, that's that's yeah. so common in uh-huh. today's society. The idea oh, yeah. that you walk around and you see people with really expensive cameras, mm-hmm. and there's like a crew." And there's like a model or a person just walking around, just kind of, they're the people that are performing or what have right, you. Right, right. Uh-huh. And it's just kind of an understood thing of like, well, if they're not supposed to be here, someone else will handle that. Exactly. But I can just move out of the shot or yeah. or I can troll them and go behind the shot right, and be right. like, hey, hey, you know. <laughs> but also the idea that it's like, it's an older dude. So it's just like, right. you know, uh, what are these young kids up to? Uh, what, what channel are you on? <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> Uh, old timer TV is done for. We're not yeah, on yeah, channels. Exactly. Oh, oh, you meant our YapTube channel? Oh, we're www dot like comment subscribe. You know? Yeah, yeah. And Actually, like, no, they wouldn't want to say that because then it's like, wait a minute, gentle, wait, hold on. Right, right. But, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that'd be really funny if his channel name. Do we have we heard his channel name yet? Probably what if it's like, not Gentle Criminal, though? What if it's actually, like, something else that sounds really legitimate, you know? Like, gentle Productions. Yeah, something. Gentle Productions, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, gentle Brava Productions, you know? <laughs> like, not the law. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, we also got a little bit of a showcasing of all the students, kind of seeing how they're all getting prepared, uh, how they mm-hmm. all have really invested a lot of energy into this. Yep. Even Bakugo is nervous about the whole thing. He's kind of getting on Tokoyami's case. Be like, yeah, what is with those weak ass, you know, <laughs> riffs? Come on, dude. Um, we got to see uh, basically just the characters getting uh, not only just ready for it, but having that kind of trepidation about mm-hmm. it. So I want, I want the most over the top, exciting presentation of their performance. It, whatever, whatever you can do, Bones, yeah. just please 
please give us it all. Maybe, if anything, that's what we can say the slow pacing is for, mm -hmm. is because they're saving it all up to just sure. blow their yep. load on, I the, mean, uh, hey, on hey, the concert. I would know? absolutely love that. Also, I just realized a reason why La Brava is such a perfect match for Gentle, oh. both relationally uh -huh. and also for his channel. Oh, no. Cause, Wait. Because Gen <laughs> Gentle... I can already tell what's coming, kind of. <laughs> Gentle is, is, like, very, like dramatic right he's got a lot of right. showmanship and la brava really helps him with all the 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 work all the labor uh -huh. and stuff so it's almost like la brava si la brava do all right yeah anyways yeah i mean yeah i'm not ashamed i'm not bravo sorry. Yeah. bravo I, the, the, well, it's it's a name that needs to have puns. Pun, made. pun, 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 pun. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion, you can't because we're watching these week to week with all y'all. But if you want to check out full length timer reactions of everything, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. Any level of support gets you access to our Discord where you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. There's a manga only community in there as well if you're interested in that. And you can also talk with Jacob about the sci fi novel that he wrote. Yep, that's right. I wrote a sci fi novel and it's. No, it's it's a lot more serious than Gentle and the Bravo. <laughs> but if you're interested, go check it out. It's called Battle Lines. It's awesome and it's on Amazon. Link in the description down below. Hardback and ebook within the US, ebook outside the US. Go get it. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.